All right, so here we go. We're going to roll into this week's items uh, for review. And before we start, I just want to share with y'all what upgrade we did. Serial killer table, as you can see. It is now redesigned. It looks better than it did before, and now it won't be quite as boring as you're sitting here watching the, the videos. So my friends really gave me crap. They were just like, bro, you've... Your table is looking a little serial killerish. You can't be using that in your videos. And then uh, they helped me redesign it. So shout out to them for doing that for me. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get into what I have for this week. It's gonna be three items for today. The first one we're gonna start out with is gonna be something that's gonna help uh, audio wise for this channel, of course, but I uh, may as well just put it up there so y'all can see, decide for yourself. If you're looking for one for Twitch, whatever the case may be then you may want to use this as a viable option. So it's going to be a microphone that's made by Toner and you can get this on Amazon. It is only $42.99 currently. And as you see, it has a real nice design. It's got the microphone and then it's got the pop filter in front to keep the uh, excess noise out. It also dampens noise so that you only hear the forward coming noise more than you do what's in the background of it. So that's also one nice thing well, along with this tri tripod stand that has little rubberized feet that keep it from sliding around. So once you set it into the place it needs to go, that's where it's gonna sit at. And then it has full tilt options so that you can actually change the direction of the microphone a complete like 180 degrees. So you have multiple options to use with this when using this microphone. So we're gonna go ahead and test this out and see how it works. Now when it comes to a new microphone, there's only one way that you could actually test it. So in this case, I'm just gonna have to do it the right way. <clears throat> Chocolate rain. <laughs> I'm not gonna put y'all through that agony, but if you know what that video is, that is the only proper way in which you can actually test a microphone. You must sing the song. Uh, so overall it, it's pretty good and and it doesn't require any kind of like driver software so all you do is just plug it into the laptop and it's ready to go it is also compatible with Google zoom go to me and several other things like that uh, if you want to use it for gaming you can so you can plug it right into your PlayStation 4 but for you Xbox users I'm sorry but again you're just left behind one day you'll figure out which one is the better one which is PlayStation okay so for the microphone it's not that bad setup is easy plug and play hit record and the audio turns out pretty good what they recommend is a 60 to 80 percent input the next thing that I have we're gonna go into is gonna be a Casa TP-Link smart plug so this thing works through Wi-Fi and is compatible with other smart devices as well so with this thing, it is a Wi-Fi plug. It's real easy to use, and you don't even need a hub to use it. You can do it right through an app. But if you have things like Alexa and Google Home, you can actually control it through those devices as well. <clears throat> it's real easy to set up. All you do is just plug it into the wall. It's going to start flashing green and orange on the Wi-Fi symbol, letting you know that it's trying to connect. At that point, you go into the app on your phone select the device you're trying to set up because they have multiple devices through this company and then once it finds it you're going to put in the information for your network and then it's going to add that device and you can now control it one thing to note is if you do have a device and you have a network where you have to add it manually using the mac address right on the device is a sticker that gives you that information. Once it's on and going, you do have control of it through the phone and by voice if you set it up to use it through Alexa or Google Home. So in this case, uh, I use Google, so that's what I'm gonna be using. You can always change scheduling on it. So let's say you plug something into it and you want to turn it on at certain times, turn it off at certain times, you can put it on a schedule and you can actually set it to follow that schedule. This is what the device itself looks like. It's small, plugs right into the wall, and it is a little bulky. It, it's, I mean, that's, that's a handful right there, but it does what you need it to. Right up here on the top is where the power button is, so you can manually turn on and off the device. And then at the top, you're gonna find a reset button. So if you need to factory reset it, you can just simply hold down this button for about five seconds, and then it's gonna trip the power go through its reset and then be back to factory settings. 
So I'm going to go ahead and plug this into the wall. It's going to take about probably 10 seconds to power on. It's not too long. And then once the solid light goes green on the device, that's when you know that it's ready. Now you should be able to hear it as it clicks on and off. So we're going to see. I'm going to go ahead and just push it manually. Uh, it's barely noticeable, but if you were sitting in a room and it wasn't there wasn't too much noise going on with like a TV or anything, then you'd definitely be able to hear it. I'm going to turn it back on. Now, as far as the voice controls goes, like I said, I use Google. I switched from Alexa because for me, there's just not enough capability with the Echo right now. It's like they're still almost there, but they're not quite to where it's where it makes sense and it's seamless and everything integrates really easily. So that's what I use. So at this time, I'm going to go ahead and tell Google to turn this light switch off. Hey, Google. Turn off smart plug. Got it. Turn smart plug off. There it is. And if I want it back on, hey Google, turn on smart plug. Got it. Turn smart plug. Turn it on. See how easy that is? You can just control it from your voice. If you need to, though, you can always revert back to the app and do it manually. There's nothing wrong with that. This device does require a 2.4 gigahertz wireless network. So if you only have a 5 gigahertz network, you're gonna have to find another solution because this only works on 2.4 gigahertz. If you're not sure what that means, uh, ask somebody who knows and they should be able to tell you what kind of network it is or call your internet service provider and they'll give you those details. Along with these devices, you can do as, as you want with like most smart homes. You can take several devices, put them into a group and have them turn on and off together. That's what's called scenes with the Casa Smart Link. Uh, so you can create scenes and those devices will turn on and off together in a group. You can also set it to an away mode so that while you're gone it'll turn on the devices at different times and off again to make it look like somebody's occupying the house so that it deters people from trying to break in while you're out on vacation or something. That's about all I have for this device. Uh, it's real easy to use, really simple interface, and requires little to no skill at all to set it up. So if you're looking for a smart plug or a smart switch or any kind of a device that uh, works to create a smart home for you, this is definitely something worth looking into. I personally don't like smart plugs. I don't. The wireless switches are nice for the lights, but at this point, you don't really need the plugs to be smart. Most things work wirelessly, and they're pretty integral with smart home capabilities where you can control it from your phone, so it's not really a necessity. Maybe for, like, Christmas when you have lights up or holidays or whatever, that's when it would make sense, but for the most part, uh, I find these to be pretty much, like, obsolete. So it's a USB LED clock fan. So as you can see, there's an LED strip right on there. So as the blades are spinning, they light up in different times to make the picture of a clock and the hour and second hands turning on it. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in so you can see it and see how it works. All right, so as you can see, I have plugged it into the computer. And it's supposed to pull the date and time automatically. And you can adjust this however you want. It's really flexible to make it whatever direction you want to be sitting. In this case, I have a USB hub dongle, so it's kind of making it sit a little weird, so I could turn it as needed to make it stay. Now, the nice thing about it is, if you look on the side here, there is a button. All you have to do is just push that button, it turns on, and then it's gonna light up with the LEDs, giving you the time. You will have to adjust it to make it fit whatever the, uh, direction you're looking for or how you want it to go, but it does put off quite a good, decent amount of air, and it'll help keep you cool while you're sitting at the desk. And then you can just have the clock staring you in the face as you're working. All right, so that's about all that I have for today, for this week. Um, been pretty busy lately and going back to work and enrolled in college courses, so things have slowed down a little bit for me. But I will try my best to keep getting stuff, random gadgets, reviewing them, and then uh, y'all just decide for yourself if you want to get them or not. Hey, that's up to you, but I'm just having fun buying these random things and trying them out. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, and I look forward to making more. Hope you all have a wonderful week.